Hello, hello, hello. Today it's a different episode. Um, if you have uh, seen my previous videos, you'll find out that um, my uh, 1979 Iron Hat is now registered and legal, which allows us to progress with the project. So, um, today I'm going to have a quick look on the interwebs to see what kind of um, bits and bobs I can get. So, I'm going to look for a frame, a subframe, uh, because I'm going to hardtail the motorbike and uh, potentially things would I need with it would I find out maybe some um, oil tank maybe a different tank I will try to reweld this one but I want to have a, a backup probably will need a some kind of fender and uh, any other any other fixings I will probably uh, build uh, any brackets for brakes and all that stuff. So um, let's get to it. I am going to start with um, hard tail iron head sports And what is I don't wanna everything. I want a results. So what do we have? Lead sled customs. Um, let's open that. Low bro customs. We'll do vintage, vintage, vintage fabrications. Low bro, Shopify. Let's do between manufacturing. DC bros. And, um, okay. That's enough to uh, get us started. So, where are we now? What is this? This is the let's let customs parts. Um, let's uh, have a look at frames. Hmm, this is quite exciting because I've been um, wanting to hardtail an iron head for a very long time. I wanted to do it with my 1970 and uh, I wanted to do it with my um, uh, 1972 but um, We'll get to it while I'm searching. Okay, so this is Iron Head to, to 1981. So mine is 79, so this would fit. So a uh, year of bike, we have move 79. Stretch. How much I want to stretch? Two inches? Mm, maybe two inches. Uh, tire size 150, 180. Stock. Let's go with the stock. Uh, belt or chain drive, chain drive and break the. Let's do it. Yes, five hundred and ten American dollars. This one has. Uh, where are you? Where did you go? Uh, while it's thinking, what I want to do is that um, when I went to the shop, they told me the nineteen seventy. 1972 also, I don't know what year they changed the frames but the early irons they had a very beautiful cast iron frames under the seat you can see a messy wing um, a massive wing which is made of cast iron and um, which is kind of historical beautiful and um, I'm not exactly sure which year, it was 75 or something, or 73, they changed the frame and uh, instead of having the cast iron block, they just put a piece of um, thick flat bar, maybe half an inch, which they bent into a double L shape, into a C shape, and that became your new um, uh, anchor for your um, uh, rear subframe. So um, um, there was, um, what you got? So when I said I'm going to chop these frames up, they say, oh, don't do it because you are cutting piece of history. That's not very nice. You know, keep them, that's not. So I, I kind of thought, they're right. I'm going to keep that. So since then, well, I managed to buy the 72, which had exactly the same frame. So I kept it original. And uh, when I bought the 79, that's, that frame is all 
It's like the XR, it's kind of trellisy, it's a very different style than a regular frame, so uh, nobody like it. <laughs> I don't like it either, it's okay, but that's a perfect bike to hardtail. So, okay, now we have it loaded. What the hell just happened? What are we waiting for? Frames, hardtails. Um, 82 to 2003. What? Ironhead. Ironhead 281. Let's have a look at this. So this is what I looked at before. Why did we skip out? You leave your engine mount by the looks of it over here. And has nice little curved uh, backbone going down. That would end up looking like if we going uh, with the engine, and um, so yeah, I had a seventy nine. Let's go two inch stretch. Two inch stretch. Yeah, two inch is fine. I don't want a longer bike. Uh, stock tire, chain drive. So that's five hundred and ten. So. This kind of curved backbone uh, would be quite good if um, if um, I didn't have to run all my wiring through, which uh, I could potentially drill a hole through and see what happened, and um, then um, well, it is an option. Um, let's have a look what we have next. Uh, love bra, mm, bolt on. No, thank you. I'm not bolting anything in. Uh, I don't want the directly engine to um, fall apart and um, <laughs> unbolt itself while I'm riding. Where are we? Uh, brakes, fenders, battery, pathos, hard tabs. Here we go. Why are we back here? Okay. We are moving. Here we go. Motorcycle hardtails. We have well done hardtails, well done hardtail reframe section 52 to 81 Ironhead Sportster. That would be us, I believe. Yeah. This is longer. This is um Balkan. No, this is what we want. So, what does this um, do? They are engine mounts. That is correct. Seems like there is an XL in here. The tabs. It might. Ha it looks. It might have a adjusters. Um, if you're running a stock tire with two-inch stretch and intend to keep a belt, it will require a longer belt. Yeah. Uh, ship your frame to us now. Um, the stock, that's what the tire we want. Mm, okay, okay, they have a video. They give you a hard tail kit. No, we don't want that. Okay, don't tell, don't tell us much. What do we have here? Um, this is the low brow. It has a straight backbone by the looks of it. I think I've seen this before and there is a tiny hole which would be quite good to um, run all the cables out of there and for the harness. I guess I will have to um, make a decision. There is a brace on that frame and how is this one made? Oh, I can't see it from uh, angles. Not, and there is a brace in here. Huh. By the looks of it on this one, it looks like this rear section is a one piece in a U shape. And then they welded these two little sticks up here. Uh, yeah, where Lobra, it seems that this is a single piece of tubing. Hmm, 
I think I might prefer four. I do like the curved backbone and I would like to um, draw it all, but I do prefer the low brow and hmm. I will have to. What do you prefer, guys? What do you think? Which one do you like out of these so far? Do you prefer the low brow? They definitely give you more pictures. Let me see what they say. Um, it comes. This is four inch stretch, so it is uh, longer and two inch drop. So the axles could be four inches further and two inches down, um, which is kind of cool because I, what I also want to do is uh, raise the front end. I want to get a six inch over regular forks. We'll get to that. Uh, but so far, I am quite liking how this is manufactured. That looks quite beautiful welding. Um, so, uh, just for the fun of it, let's add <laughs> this to the uh, card. Let's have a look what we have here. This is, um, and also low brow is 429, 430 American. This is 510. So there is, um, uh, 70, 80, 80 bucks different. In New Zealand money it's about double or maybe one and a half time more. This one is comes with the New Zealand dollars, 662 already. And different, different, oh, this is a curved looking plate. Oh, you see what I'm saying about these uh, little stubs? Um, uh, uh, It's very interesting what um what kind of mounting you do. MK2 Hartel designed for 60 to 78 poster, so that doesn't um, really do us much. Well done Hartel in my heart, oh. <laughs> and Suzuki's wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> you can get yourself a Suzuki. Uh, Iron Head Sportster 64 to 82. Yeah, it's the same thing, same price. Oh, they have a different description down here. This is stretch 3.5 inch and 3 inch drop. Okay, that's a much bigger drop, 3 inch. That's almost that much. <laughs> it's quite a lot. I'll be scraping my ass on the roads in here in New Zealand. These are interesting ones. This is Bolton. I don't like these um, well done because you don't weld the backbone. This is not what we want. There was a Vitwin website and TC Bros. What do have the boys for us? So let's have a look again here. Um, <laughs> We have, I don't see the frames, hardtails. Wake up. Wake up! Dun 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 Sports Turkey 82, hardtail 2003, 82. I don't see any hardtails to fit our motorcycle. Hmm, it's 82 to 2003. You can weld your own hardtail. That's pretty cool. If I was more skilled with a... Um, if I was more skilled with um, welding, I would do that. <laughs> and also, obviously, by the looks of it, you need uh, a rig or jig for it. So, um, okay. So, TC Bros is um, nothing. So we have three choices. We have MK52, we have the lowbrow, and we have the uh, let's let custom. Um, let me translate this. So this supposedly is in New Zealand dollars, 662 New Zealand. Lowbrow 430, let's see 430 USD to New Zealand. 
that comes out 700 bucks. Um, so lowbrow is a bit more expensive, but um, I do like the welds. I do like the quality of this frame. Um, this, to be honest, this end you probably won't even see. Do they have a picture of a motorcycle? Mm. That kind of well time. Hmm. Okay. With the seed up, how much of it are you going to see the uh, the backbone anyway? If it's curved or not curved, it's not gonna be, I think, crucial. Um. I'm uh, thinking to go with the um, lowbrow, so um, okay, I'm gonna give up on these other ones, um, let's erase that, and um, let's go shopping. So we have the frame, what else do we need? Um, let's have a look at oil tank, oil tank, oil tank, no, gas tanks, uh, it's just my eyes fell on it, so let's just do that. Um, and um, we have a classic Sportster, two and a half gallon. The reason I am uh, thinking about a different tank is that um, the tank I have is a standard stock uh, Sportster one where uh, the petcock is in the middle of the tank. If the whole motorcycle is risen, well, it's gonna have a two inch drop at the rear and six inch rise on the front, so the almost 8 inch tilt that's gonna disable half of the petrol on my um, on my uh, tank, so I won't be able to you know, if you can use half of your tank that's not exactly great, so I was going to either weld it shut and then cut a new uh, hole on the bottom of the tank but to be honest, welding a thin metal of a tank, I am not that proficient in uh, TIG just yet to be able to do that. So um, I might have a practice with that tank, but I'm thinking to um, uh, just buy a different one. And I want a tank what sits on the frame. I don't want to. I don't want to have uh, the uh, tunnel, or whatever is it called, deep, the channel. So um, uh, maybe I think it's called a Frisco mount that it's kind of end up, end up being flush with the bottom of your frame. Um, regular Sportster. Uh, I was considering this little round one that kind of looked cool. This narrower Sportster one looks quite neat. Mm, my idea for the bike is that I would like to make it like a um, really narrow lane splitter. My 1970 has a big apes which are quite wide. The uh, 72 has buckhorn which are quite wide but this one I'm imagining skinny bike with um, those um, I think it's called rabbit ears little kind of spun out handlebars where you kind of ride that in that direction and they pull you back a little bit. Um, so the whole frame of the bike, whole thing is real skinny. So skinny, skinny tank appeals to me. But let's have a look what they have. Um, I'm not sure I'm in love with the, with the shape of it from the top. But this, um, this is so nice and slender and long. I want a bike to look really long and and. And slender, thin and light. I love sportsters. I love these iron heads because they do look like um, they do look like a uh, bicycles. You know, it's just a frame, wheels, and massive engine. I am not fan of the new Harley's or when they even a new sportster when they because it's water cooled. You don't have to have fins. You don't have to have air come into the engine, so they cover everything up. You have the radiator up front and the engine looks like he has a freaking plastic covers to me you 
what's the point of motorcycle when you hide the engine, you know? But that's, um, that's just my opinion. What do you think? You like him? You like the new bikes? I quite uh, admire Iron, uh, not Iron, Indians, that they build a new Indian, it's water-cooled, but they still go into trouble to making fins on a, on a heads and making the bike look like it's old school. So, um, so yeah, okay. This is the tank. Yeah, seven inches tall, dimensions. Offset center, yeah, yeah. I quite like it off center. Oh yeah, so the mount, you can see that it's flush with the bottom, so if it sits on the tube, it should just give us a nice, nice line there. So, um, so far, I think I haven't scrolled much further. Uh, replica, the stock, Sportster. These bobules, these round ones, I'm not sure I'm into it. Um, what is this? This is a narrow, this is the same one as this one. Uh, what? Okay, we let it load. Split tank, little teardrop thing. Mm, maybe? Oh, I don't like the profile. Uh, bionic filler, that's just old school tank. Little cutouts. Mm, it's narrow. No, I don't like the shape. I like the sports store. This is super narrow. Hmm, that's kind of cool. But it's um, 1.6 gallon. No, that's not much. For New Zealand roads, that's nothing. Um, no, this is kind of cool. I don't like that. Um, Frisco. It's a really narrow, sporty Frisco. Oh. Kind of look cool from the top, but um, I'm not loving the profile. Would it look nice on the bike? I don't know. Um, with the hand narrow handlebars kind of going straight up and curving around, it could actually work. Um, and this is just repeating just different petcock positions. Um, I was kind of interested in those, but it sits so low. Oh, well, this one is the free one. Um, no. no, I don't like the my car. I like the smooth sides. So many tanks. This is a classic mount. No. Standard. If I. Okay, this is a different pet cup position. Okay. We'll uh, drop out of this. And um, so we have this narrow Frisco tank. Um, you see, that looks quite nice. That uh, gives us a quite nice open space on the bottom. Uh, all the cabling will be hidden in the backbone. Um, so that is going to work nice. I really like that. Uh, and this is the real skinny one. It's two and a half gallons. So that is gives a little bit of length. Um, do they have a dimension? So this is 18 and a bit inches. And this one is 15 inches, so three and a bit inches. Do they have a picture on the bike? Oh, okay. No. No, I don't like it. Narrow spots to it is. Add to cart. Boom. Which one is this one? Frisco narrow 2.1 gallon. What did I put in the card? Frisco uh, Mongestin. What is different? Do we, did I open two of them? They are different prices. Uh, 2.1 gallon. Faffing about. Oh, yeah, I think the different is the hole. This is a. Uh, old school little bayonet thing and this one might have a little screw top thing um, I don't know maybe we don't like this one let me go back into the go into the cart and I'll have a screw top and potentially gives us uh, more options I suppose cart still loading 
Anyhow, okay, so that is our tank. Uh, oil, 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 oil tank. Oil tanks. I want to say oil tanks. There we go. Oh, come on. It's quite hard when your brain is quick and you're doing stuff. Oh, I'm not saying my brain is quick, my brain is average. <laughs> but my fingers are quick and I am looking at stuff and the computer is just not doing anything. And the internet's shit. Feels like sometimes we are in the Middle Ages. Things are slow. So what else, what else do we need? We have chosen a frame. We have chosen a uh, gas tank. We are trying to get, have a look at these oil tanks. And then once that's sorted, I'll have a look at the rear fender. I was thinking to reuse my old fender and just figure out the mounts and um, chop it. I don't know if I want to uh, buy an extra new fender, which is longer and it goes all the way down. Um, the old one goes pretty much to the front of the... It's kind of flush, almost a perfectly horizontal start at the end. So if I am tilting it, it should go all the way down. Um, let's have a look if I can do the oil tank spore Harley. Let's see if there is anything interesting we can see in the images. If this ever will load. What could be fun? I think when I was looking, oh yeah, like these ones. Is it the gimmick? What, what do you think with the, uh, with a little glass at the end? Um, is it something that's just random? Is the glass potentially... Can it crack? Can it um, give way? You know, stone chipped? I don't know, it looked kind of interesting. Um, I was thinking to have a barrel, a uh, barrel, if I have a round tank. Um, rather than uh, the shoehorn or anything else, um, the thing is, I think, what I was considering doing is that uh, uh, getting like a 2 mil piece of metal and just welding it to um, curving it and cutting different shapes and just uh, welding it to the frame to change shape of the frame, make it, um, make different fins or something, I don't know, make something interesting i don't want to just have a stock tubing so um there will be something interesting for me to look at um uh have we loaded the tanks yet oh man oh here we go kind of dished clamped on steel maybe this is just bolt on i would prefer maybe just welding it in um this is clamped on as well uh, and the filler. It looks like some of them have a filler for oil in the middle, some have a filler onto the side. Um, what do you think? Which is better? Is it preference? If you have an oil tank, oil filler, it will be under the seat. So you have, but it's also, if it's in the middle, it's gonna be underneath the uh, backbone. So you won't be able to get to it, so okay, simplified there. So we're just gonna stick with um, uh, with the um, the side, the side hole. Hmm. Okay, so um, what do we have uh, here? Let's let it cast them with a straight piece of. I don't, I don't mind that one. Um, 
use this one as another one that's kind of similar. Let's let custom smoothie. Well, time for Harley Davidson choppers. What is Derby? Let's click on those and see what is the difference between them. I feel like I prefer the flat ends. I don't like these bullet, uh, bullet looking ones. So let's let kind of look okay. Uh, center, we don't want that, don't want that. It's a uh, ridges at the end. Aluminium, I think. Let's think that's so finish now. Um, another aluminium clamp on. Steel on. And maybe this one. So I think that's our options here. Let's let custom. What do we have? These old things are spun steel, handmade by Let's Let here in Ohio. Uh, five inch diameter. Five inch. Five inch two centimeters. Um, uh, Twelve centimeters. Okay, I can imagine that. So about that camera. Okay, that's five inch, one and a half, holds three and a half quarts of oil. Raw steel features, core range and PT bunks for feed return and vent. Uh, okay. Uh, what is the other one? Oh, the, let's let there is a there two mounting points on top, or is it? Maybe for the oil. So this is just straight. There is no mounting points. There is. Um, I have to figure out the bracket and weld it in. Okay. So that's that. This other one. What is this smoothie? This is derby. What is different between smoothie and derby? Um, from the front. Oh yeah, it has a more recessed bits. Same price, but there's a recessed bit. What do they say? 5 inch diameter. 9 and a half, 5 inch diameter. Hold the uh, same thing. Front perfect for triple uh, blah, blah, blah. Same thing. Same and same. Clickety clickety click. Same connectors. Um, let's let them. Okay, and these are recessed. I definitely prefer the recessed ones. One on top for the feed to return any air vent for the engine. Okay, I get it. Um, they are in the middle. Okay, that should be okay to get to. Out of stock. Okay, so they don't have it. And they have this one. I don't really like those nuts on top. Mm. Okay, uh, we'll have a look at lead slip oil tank. This last one is 250 dished clamp on steel motorcycle oil. Um, loading. Uh, can we get them somewhere else? Uh, Revzilla, maybe. It. That's the bomb. I wish to have a look at it. <laughs> but this is still loading. Have a look. Okay, so what else do we have? Um, here, nothing breaks, nothing will figure everything. Uh, drive train, uh, nothing there. Electricity for electricity. I will do what I did with all my with my other Harleys. I'm gonna put the M unit from Moto Gadget in, hide everything, simplify, simplify the wiring, um, indicators. I will figure out what to do depending on the style. Something little. I used to buy stuff from um, uh, Rizoma. It's an Italian brand. They do really beautiful manual things, little indicators. So my look into that. Um, switches and levers i'm kind of thinking of the custom tech they do like an old school all the worldly curved piece of metal with a really small master cylinders and um and so 
Master Pistons, they are really nice, so I might go with that uh, at some later point. Okay, let's let Derby style all tank. So they have them in um, in uh, on the Revzilla side. Hmm. hmm. I'm kind of considering that one instead of this low bro one. Low bro. Hmm. And I'll just figure out the mounting point and just weld it straight to the frame. Uh, do I need? Did I need it to be removable? I just feel if it's clamped on, it's gonna be giving me shit and loose up. But then, other on the other hand, I can um, forget the clamp and just weld it, weld it in if I wanted to, um, or weld in the back side of the clamp and then just have it bolted in. That's a good idea. Um, I can do that. <sighs> okay, bye bye, let's let... And it was a derby one, it wasn't a smooth one anyway. So that's not what I liked anyway, goodbye. Uh, and then um, before we get to any electrics, from that kind of visual look, oh, we need the fork and we need some little handlebars. Okay, back to it, finally loaded up stuff. So what do we get? We have a fender, this looks like front ones, this looks like a rear fender, and we have a 16 inch, my tire is a, a rear wheel is a stock 16 inch rear tire, so this kind of fender would be fine. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to chop it out from the old one. Uh, even a flat one could have been fine, I think because they vintage tires, they don't have too much curve on them, they do, they are kind of more on the square side, where this is very round. No, not so round. I know, six inch wide. I don't, I'm not super keen on the, um, the ribs. Um, okay, I'm not gonna get in there, I think I'll just go with these gas box. Handlebars. So what I was looking for is that narrow stuff. So um, what I was thinking is these uh, rabbit ears. Because um, I don't like the T-bars, I don't want anything super wide. Um, even the bars for my 1970 I got manufactured by my, from my own design here in New Zealand. So they were very narrow and quite wide on top. I didn't want to have a wide on the bottom wide part. Um, because lots of these ones are so wide at the bottom and I wanted to have it narrower. Um, yeah, too many handlebars, too many shapes. Yeah, it, the bars what I have is like these ones, drug specialties. Eight hangers. These are 18 inch rice. What I have is 20 inch rice, but they were very narrow. So it's based on those on my 1970. But this one, I think I am going to go with these uh, narrow one inch uh, rabbit ears. Oh, also considering to do an internal throttle uh, on this one. Have a Break so the o everything's gonna be internal, so the only only visible cable would be the clutch. I there was a time I was looking at the twist internal clutch as well. I think that I saw it on one of those uh, biker builders biker build off shows, and um, they um, it was the the blondie the British guy living in LA. What is uh what was his name, kind of punk fella, he developed, he was using a clutch system on a, on a twist on your left hand, so you could have a completely clean handlebars with no cables going out. And then I read and uh, researched stuff and found out that um, even he didn't like it. <laughs> that it looked awesome on a motorcycle, but you would have to have Popeye arms to be able to, uh, to twist the clutch and especially on the older bikes and you know it it takes a lot of effort and um, to be able to feather it 
to get the bike moving, it was uh, quite a bit of a mission, so um, I decided not to go with it. Um, so that was just an interesting, it would have been cool, cool idea, but maybe not so super practical. Okay, here is our rear fender, still loading, okay, we move on. Uh, what is this? Oil tank. I don't know what's in there, did I already add it to the list? I don't know. Click on that. Uh, motorcycle forks, so um, we have 35 millimeter front end tubes and we want to go 6 inch over, so 35 millimeter tube, 4 inch over, no, what do we, where it is, 35 millimeter fork, chrome, 6 inch over, so I think that's us, um, we have different brands, 5, 5 only, R35 mil, and we have 4 over, 6 over, stock length, 8 over and 2 over, and I want to go um, 6 inch over. Mm. I don't know, it just sounds, I don't know why, it just sounds good. 8 seems too long, 4 <laughs> doesn't sound enough, so I'm quite happy to go with the 6 inch. Uh, I don't know, just for the fun of it, let's put this fender into the basket and um, rub the handlebars into the basket and we'll see if it actually goes into the cart. Um, fork tubes, we're still waiting. Oh man, this video is turning out to be a little bit longer than I expected, um, so I'm just rambling around. Um, well, I could, instead of everything, let me just fish out a calculator rather than waiting for a basket because we will never get there. Not calendar. Bye bye. Uh, calculator. So, um, the frame was. Load up. Come on. Frame was 430. I'm pretty sure. Um, fender is 170 plus 170, uh, handlebar is 120, and 20, forks 163 plus 163. And 250 for oil tank, for oil tank, and how much was, how much was the um, gas tank, anybody remembers? Oh, do I have to go try to find it? gas caps, gas tanks? Okay, I'm stopping this because this is ridiculous. Um, and I remember, can't remember the gas tank. Um, what do we get? Is it gonna be fast for us? No, of course not. What do I even think? A fast computer and fast internet? $200. Plus 200 So that set us up to $1,333 for Frame, gas tank, oil tank, fender, handlebars and forks. That's kind of the biggest, most engineering thing to go, which if you translate it to uh, 1333, that's 2,176 New Zealand dollars, plus some kind of shipping. Um, yeah, we'll see what, uh, that'll be probably quite a lot. It's gonna take a while for it to be delivered here. Potentially the customs in New Zealand will stop the parcel because it's gonna be lots of metal and it's gonna be heavy so they will hold it for a week or two and charge me another 15% or 20% or whatever it is import tax so uh, that's gonna add up. Um, so um, yeah this is 
I was, it could have been nice to show you a nice little shopping cart for it, but uh, here we go, we just see nothing. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here. This is just the start. You can kind of imagine the 79 Sportster with a hardtail and raisin forks. Uh, different narrow gas tank, narrow handlebars. Um, it's gonna look cool. Uh, I'm really excited and hopefully I can engrave the ends. Um, maybe I'm biting way too much that I can chew, but hey, you gotta have a plan. Whether it works out or not, we will find out. But um, yeah, hopefully it wasn't too boring, this one. Um, oh, here we go, look. We have a shopping cart. Uh, nothing in there, never mind. I got too excited. Okay. Okay, well, let me know what you think uh, with my plans. I've, uh, the idea kind of flies. I wanna go slightly more outrageous with this new bike, have it a bit more exciting and um, experience completely different style of riding. Uh, so, this is the plan so again yeah feel free to write up if you have suggestions of uh, different companies and different things i have bought from lowbrow before and they are really nice to deal with um so i'm quite happy to support them and get stuff from them um and yeah this is the kind of my start of the project doing all the research and kind of ogling and goggling things out there so uh, yeah, feel free to press the buttons and say good day. And um, thank if you stayed all the way till the end. Thanks, and I'll see you uh, next one. Alrighty, see you.